Hey guys, it's Nicole Nixon Six and Gus here. And this week's theme on Seven Awesome Girls is guests. And my guest is going to be my dog Gus. And we're gonna be doing the furry friend tag. Question one, what's your pet's name? My pet's name is Gus and it says so on his tag. See, Gus. His adoption name was Wrangler but we changed it to Gus when we adopted him. Question two is what kind of pet and what kind of breed? So Gus is now in a position where I can't really like lay down with him. So I guess I'll just have to show you him and not be in the film with him. Thanks, Gus. Um, but he is half pit bull and half black lab. And I know that when we first adopted him, we said Sharpay, but it's actually not Sharpay. It's actually pit bull. Um, our theory is that they said Sharpay instead of Pibble because if they would have said Pibble, no one would have adopted him. But we did find out he actually definitely is part Pibble. Some people say that Pibbles are dangerous, but Gus is definitely not dangerous. He's a sweetheart. Question three, how long have you had your pet? So we adopted Gus um, April 29th, so we've had him two months. Question four is how did you get your pet? So like I've said already twice in this video, we adopted Gus. Question five, how old is your pet? <laughs> so the adoption center said three, but we believe that he's four. Six, what are some quirky things about your pet? Number one, he licks feet. Second, he has the strongest teeth and jaws I've ever seen. He will chew up his toys like crazy, even, even Kong toys, which are known to be like really hard. And you'd think that the toy's really hard and he's not gonna rip it up, but no. Second, he sprints and sprints and sprints all around the house. Like, he has so much energy. And lastly, he, like, leaps off of things. Like, he'll leap off of my bed. He'll leap off of the couch. Trust me, there are so many quirky things about my pet. That's not the only thing. Number seven, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Jump, jump, jump. There's Gus. Good boy. Here's Gus. I know that you, you're not seeing a lot of us together in this video, but... He just does not want to be with me right now. <laughs> like, honestly. Okay, sorry. Uh, so my relationship with my dog means a lot to me because there are some times where I feel like he loves my dad more than he loves me, which is obviously true. Anyways, so um, at those moments I feel really sad, but there's also moments where I, I think that he loves me more than dad. Anyways, he sleeps with me at night, but those moments where he's just like so nice to you and you guys are like playing or you're like cuddling or something, that just makes you feel so good and that just makes you feel so loved and your dog is there for you when you need him sometimes, not always. If you have a dog you can't pick up, you can't force them to be with you unless you grab their collar. I don't do that. Anyways, um, so, but, I mean, he's there a lot of the times, and I can, like, I can hug him, and sometimes he doesn't like when I hug him because, you know, how dogs feel about that. But, um, yeah, so I just, I love, the relationship with my dog means so much to me, honestly. And, I uh, he's just so funny, and he's so sweet at times. He can be very, very sweet, and he can cuddle wonderfully. He's so soft, he's a nice little pillow, and he's just what I needed, and he's awesome. So, my relationship with my dog is... High on the bar, and I can't live without it. Oh, Gus. Yeah. I love you, too. I love you, Gus. You just... <sighs> Number eight. What are your favorite pastimes with your pet? Oh, my gosh. That's really hard. I've actually only had him for two months, so I haven't had anything crazy. But I, um... I honestly think one of my favorite times was actually adopting him. And when we played with him before we actually signed the papers and adopted him. But when we were like playing with him and when we first discovered him. And I'll show you a picture of him before we adopted him. Um, but um, yeah, I just think playing with him and when we first adopted him, he was honestly just the happiest puppy. Giving him like a tour of the house was nice. And when we first got him and we learned a whole bunch about him. And everything that the person at the adoption center was worrying about, none of that happened. He was just the sweetest pup ever. And so that's one of my favorite memories. So here's the picture of Gus um, at the adoption center. This was like as my dad was like signing the papers and stuff and I went to go see him and I sent this picture to Taylor and I was really excited and as you can tell he was quite miserable and sad and then we took him home and he was so happy. So now I'll show you a couple pictures of when we took him home. So this was him in the back of the car on our way home and he was pretty good and he was just so happy. He loves car rides. So this is him after he drank so much water and he ate his food and he was very happy. And he was on our deck before we let him in. 
So this is Gus when we finally let him in to give him a tour of the house. And we had to give him a, a keep him on a leash because we didn't know how it would be. So this is the last picture I'm going to show you. But this was the next day. We still had to have him on a leash. And we gave him that big poofy thing because he just got neutered. Question 9. What are some nicknames you call your pet? I literally call him probably nine different things. Here we go. One, Gus, because his real name is Guster, but we shortened it to Gus, so his nickname is Gus. Two, butt face. Three, cutie patootie. Four, best friend. So I guess that's only four, but I feel like I call him all kinds of different things. I also call him good boy all the time. Like, I'll be like, where's my good boy? Who's there, Gus? So, yeah, guys, that's the free friend ta tag. And I'm sorry I wasn't with Gus a lot, but he didn't really like that I was with him and he moved around a lot. If you have any additional questions about Gus, I will be doing a Q&A on my main channel soon so you can um, ask them then. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even add favorites if you enjoyed the video. And always don't forget to read the description. And check out those updated links below if you haven't already. So, before we end the video, I'm just going to show you some tricks that he knows. Okay, come here. Sit. High five. High five. Shake. Shake. Ah. Ah. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. You didn't really see all of that, but he can high five, shake, he can jump up and do a spin, he can sit, and he can lay. And, yeah! So, eight, come here, Gus. I will see you guys next uh, Friday on Seven Awesome Girls. And thanks for watching, and see you guys next week. Say goodbye, Gus. Okay, he's not saying goodbye. Okay. Look up. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye, peace, and I love you. Okay, bye. Excuse me, Gus. Okay, bye.